Today I'm having a look at the Holden Acadia. It's a big seven-seater SUV. Let's find out how good it is as a baby drive. <laughs> In the back of the Holden Acadia, there are Isofix in the two outer seats. Now they're not within plastic guides, but they are really nice and easy to connect to. They're a top tether in the back of all three second row seats and the back of both of the third row seats, which meant that I could install five child seats in the back here, which is fantastic. Now, I could get three forward facing seats in this second row, I wouldn't be able to get three of the big Platinum Pros, for example, but this combination of three I could get across that second row. In the third row, I could get two forward-facing big seats, so that's really good. To access the third row of seats, the second row of seats is split 60-40. Now, the 40 is the roadside, unfortunately, in Australia. To move them forward, they do both slide individually, with the handle at the bottom, and there's a lever on the shoulder here, to pull it forward so you could easily climb through. However, I've found with three child seats installed across the central row, that actually there's not enough room for this seat to move forward without hitting onto that central child seat. The third row seats are really comfortable. I'm 162 centimetres and I can sit back here really comfortably and have enough headroom. However, the second row seats have to slide all the way back before you can then move them forward. So if you're taller than me, your legs are really gonna be in the way for moving the seat backwards and forwards. There are large cup holders on either side and they will hold a large refillable water bottle and there's a small well there too. And there's also a USB port in the third row here too. Storage in the second row of the Acadia is fantastic. There's two USB ports in the back of the central console box and an enormous storage drawer there too, which is great. In the back of both front seats there are map pockets. They will hold but not conceal an iPad. Now the doors are really good here. They've got a cup holder and a storage well on the top, another storage well and then the actual door pockets will hold a large and a small refillable water bottle. Storage in the front of the Acadia is really good. There's two cup holders in the central console. They'll hold a large refillable water bottle and a reusable and disposable coffee cup fit in there too. There's a good size um, central console storage box behind that and in front is a cordless phone charging well which is a really nice size. In the ceiling there's a glasses case which is lined and the glove box is a nice size in here. I could fit my iPad and my wallet in there easily. The door bins are really good in the front too. I could fit my large refillable water bottle and a disposable small water bottle in there and there's the storage wells. The boot door of the Acadia opens and closes with those loud bongs, which would disturb a sleeping baby. In the back here, there is really good storage underneath the boot floor and also a big plastic lined well on the left hand side. There's also big cup holders in the third row, so if you're not using the third row seats, then you've got those for storage in the back as well. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot of the Holden Acadia. When using only five seats, it will hold 18 shopping bags, or the Mountain Buggy Duet Twin Stroller and seven shopping bags, or the Brightax Flex Tandem Stroller and 11 shopping bags, or the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle Single Stroller and nine shopping bags, or the Mountain Buggy Nano Compact Stroller and 14 shopping bags, or a large dog. When using all seven seats, the boot will hold five shopping bags, or the Mountain Buggy Duet Twin Stroller fitted with no shopping bags and one wheel removed, or the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle Single Stroller fitted with one shopping bag and a wheel removed, or the Mountain Buggy Nano Compact Stroller and three shopping bags. The Acadia is a fantastic car to drive. It's lovely and smooth and it's really quiet for a car of this size as well. What I do find though is that this side mirrors, they really block your visibility, when, especially when turning at roundabouts and things. And also the seating position, it's as if the, the pedals are too high up and you have to kind of stomp on them from above. And I just can't get my chair comfortable with those pedals in that position. The media system in the Acadia is really lovely and simple and easy to use. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is fantastic. When I put it into reverse, the camera image is really lovely and clear and it has all these other great um, angles that you can see the car from, which is really good because visibility is quite difficult in here. 
So to sum up with the Acadia, it is a fantastic baby drive. It's got some really, really good family friendly features and you can get five child seats in the back. There's just a few little things like the visibility with these side mirrors and the comfort of the front seats that really are negatives for me, but apart from that, it really is great. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au